Okay, welcome to round four of the floral tile edging. You've already completed rounds one to three. Those um, were the generic videos that work for this edging and also the rectangle tile edging. But we're now gonna move forward with just the floral edging um, and we will focus on that. So I'm starting round four with avocado here. We're gonna be making, um, on your picture, you'll see we're gonna be making those sort of green leaf clusters. So that is, um, why we've chosen avocado of course you may use whatever color you choose i'm working here with a four millimeter hook and i'm going to join my yarn into my marked corner stitch all right so i'm just going to put my hook in there and then remove that little marker because it just makes it easier to work all right and i will be pulling up the yarn in the new the normal way but our first stitch, sorry, our first chains will count as a stitch. So because of that, I'm going to put my cut end over the working end of the yarn and that will just secure things neatly. So one chain and then I will be working three chain. One, two and three. And now I'm going to work um, two double treble into the same space. Just a reminder, we are working UK terminology here. So um, two double treble. And I'm going into that same corner, that was the marked corner, with two double treble. And what this is going to count as, so for our future corner stitches, they will actually be double treble uh, three together. Okay, so for the beginning, that's, an, uh, um, that's just, that is going to count as a double treble three together. But I'll show you what the regular one looks like when we get to the next corner. Now coming round this corner, we've got some really cute clusters. So let me just show you how you um, do that. We're gonna do two chain, and then we're gonna treble three together into the next stitch. So just in case you have, or you need a little bit of brushing up on that, let's have a look at how you do that. And again, UK terminology. So I'm going once around the hook, I'm going into the next stitch and pulling up a loop. I've got three loops on the hook round and through two. Now normally I'd go round and finish that stitch, but I'm gonna leave it there and I'm gonna repeat that process again. So once around the hook, back into the same place, pull up a loop, yarn over and through two, and I've now got three loops on the hook and I will leave it there. And one last time, so yarn around the hook into the same space, pick up a loop, yarn over through two. Now you'll now see I have four loops on the hook and at this point I'm going to pick up my yarn and go through all four loops. And that is a treble three together in the one place there. And again, um, UK terminology, just a quick reminder of that. So I'm going to do two chain because we're going to do that again into the next stitch and I'll whiz through it because you can obviously replay if you need it a little bit slower. Um, but what I'm interested here is just showing you what these clusters and what this pattern looks like as we work along the edge of our, well, it will be a blanket, won't it, by now? Lovely. Um, so there's our treble two together and a two chain again. Um, and what we're going to do now is we're going to skip two stitches. So skip one and two, and I'm going to just put double crochets into the next two stitches. Okay, one and two, and two chain again. Whoops. Skip two stitches, and we're going to go back and do those um, little clusters again. So, treble three. So, sorry, I've done two chain. I'm going to skip two stitches, and I'm going to do um, treble three together into the next. Stitch, one, two, three, Oop, two chain, and then again into the next stitch. So this is what's gonna form our pattern, basically these little treble clusters, these treble three togethers and chains. So I've done that twice. You can follow your pattern here, obviously. Um, this isn't designed to replace your pattern. I just wanna show you what the actual completed repeat looks like. So I'm working these clusters, these treble three togethers, I'm working them over three consecutive stitches with those two chain in between. So if I stop there, you'll see what we've got is we've got this um, cluster, which is starting 
starting to come around the corner. We'll complete that with some here. But our regular pattern is gonna look like these. So if I make my two chain again, skip two stitches and put two double crochet in. Okay, you're gonna see what that looks like. So we're kind of creating these little um, kind of semicircles of clusters as we go along, aren't we? Now, what I'd like to say here is that the border pattern is based on a specific layout, all right? So your repeats, the amount of time you're asked to repeat these patterns is based on that layout. Do not worry about that because you can you can make your layout however you'd like it to be. All you need to do is just be aware of when you're coming to the final kind of repeat before the corner. That's when things change a little. So I'm just going to get along to that and then we'll have a chat about that. So your repeat for now are these treble three together clusters and those little two double crochet to hop you along between. So I'm going to work all the way and then I will have a chat with you about what you do when you get towards your next corner. Right, okay, you can see that I've um, done the repeats across this edge here and I've, obviously there's not 20 here, but however many you need to get to, you can see that I cannot get like one of these full repeats back in uh, before this corner stitch. So when you get here, you will have, how many will you have left? One, two, three, four. You're going to have five stitches before that corner marked stitch, that marked corner stitch even. And this is where our pattern changes or our repeat changes a tiny bit because what we're going to do, if you remember, we had a little bit of a change going around this corner. We've got more clusters. We've just got three clusters here. We're actually going to have five to get us around the corner. So our pattern has to change a little bit at the corner. So when you've got five stitches, is left between you and that marked corner here's what you're going to do and this is all in the pattern so do not worry you're going to do your normal two chain after the two double crochet but this time you're going to skip three stitches not two you're going to skip three one two and three and that should put you at two stitches before the marked corner stitch okay and that is where you're going to do your normal treble three together cluster right that's one that's two, that's three, and you're gonna do your normal two chain, and you will work that again into the next stitch. So your treble three together cluster, and then you will be, your next stitch becomes the corner stitch, doesn't it? So two chain again, and this is where we're gonna do that slightly different stitch. All right, this is where we're going to do the double treble three together. So rather than a double, sorry, rather than a treble three together, we're going to do a double treble three together. It needs to be a taller stitch at that corner just to reach out on that diagonal. So I'll remove my marker. And again, UK terminology, this time the only difference is that we're going twice around the hook. All right, I've got my two chain in there. We're going twice around the hook into the corner stitch, yarn over through two yarn over through two and it still leaves me with two loops on the hook so we leave that and we'll do the same again so yarn over twice back into the corner stitch pull up yarn over through two yarn over through two I've got three loops on the hook and last time yarn over the hook twice back into the corner pull up yarn over through two yarn over through two and now when I've got four loops on the hook I'm going to yarn over and go through all of them all right, and that gives me that, like I said, that longer double treble three together stitch. All right, so now I'm turning the corner and I'm basically going to come back to doing our sort of familiar repeat. So two chain and in the next two stitches, uh, just mirroring what we did before, it's those treble three togethers with the two chain between. Okay, that's one, that's two, and then we're off again on our normal repeat. So I'm hoping that that seems quite straightforward now. Um, so there's our two chain ready to go. Let's have a little look at what we've done. So this is our first completed corner. And you can see what we've done is we've created um, the little clusters that we're used to the 
uh, treble three togethers, either side of that center, very, very tall stitch. And that's brought us all the way around the corner and we're now free to go galloping along that edge in our regular pattern so all you need to do is just be aware when you get to five stitches before the end if you're working a different layout to this pattern when you get to five stitches before the end you just kick in with that very slight change to the repeat which you will find um, at the end of the first paragraph of round four in your printed pattern all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to work the rest of this because I just want to show you how to join up at the end and then we will be ready to move on. OK, I've come all the way around and all I'm doing now is putting those last two treble three together um, stitches in and you will see that they line up perfectly. The one that's coming next, the stitch that's coming next is where we started. It was that sort of fake double treble three together. Um, and let me just finish that. If I put my two chain in and I'm, all I'm going to do to slip stitch to join is I'm going to just put a slip stitch into uh, the top of the starting chains. And then I, you will see that what's happened is we've worked. Oh, it's a bit, it's a bit foldy, but don't worry, that'll all um, work out. I've only done a small piece here so you can sort of see the join really. So you can see we've gone round the corners and at the very beginning um, we've put those extra well, the end, sorry, to join to the beginning, we've put those extra clusters in there to come around that corner. So um, really pretty starting round, not too difficult once you work out what you do when you get to your last five stitches um, and um, a nice and easy, hopefully, repeat to remember. So that was round four, let us move on.